Hey gang, and welcome to another Geek Moment video. My name is Chris Baird, and today we're looking at the PAN 1555 Bluetooth module from Panasonic. This is a handy little device that supports several Bluetooth stacks, including serial port profile, among others. Uh, it's got USB on it, uh, SPI, UART, uh, GPIO, ADCs, and DACs all built into this little guy. Let's take a closer look at it. So the PAN 1555 is a leadless surface mount module. Uh, it's very handy in that it's a very small size. Uh, the antenna is included. Unfortunately, the pads on the back side are not exposed to the side, uh, so it makes it almost impossible to hand solder. Uh, for that reason, we decided to make a breakout board. Uh, this board outline you may recognize. It is the same outline as another very similar module. The pins are all compatible, power ground, UART, transmit and receive, uh, GPIOs, ADC, all of it's drop-in compatible, uh, so you can use this as a replacement and communicate via Bluetooth. Uh, in order to get this module soldered onto the breakout board, I had to bring in my electric griddle from home, and it turns out that I didn't wash it well enough, and it still smelled like pancakes. So for the rest of the day, the tech lab smelled like pancakes. People started coming with plates, and they asked for syrup. And so once we got the module soldered onto the breakout board, we started talking about ways to feature the product. We talked about doing a pair of headphones, but that's already been done. We talked about doing a Bluetooth mouse, but there's lots of those on the market. Uh, so instead, we decided to come up with something unique for the video. So this is a project that's been in the works for a while. It's been kind of on the back burner, but once we realized that this was a drop-in replacement for another popular wireless communication tool, uh, this project came alive again, and we decided to finish it for the video. This is a uh, red, green, blue, high-power LED. There's a circuit board underneath with a microcontroller, uh, four constant current LED drivers, uh, the Bluetooth module on the breakout board, and two uh, metal-geared servos. Uh, the module is connected via Bluetooth to my laptop, and I've also written a Visual Basic application uh, that allows me to control the position of the servos and the color of the lights uh, simply by clicking anywhere on the screen here to control it. So how this program works is that whenever I want to send information to the light module over Bluetooth, it uh, captures that data, puts it into a packet, and sends it over a COM port uh, just as if it was a serial cable connected to the module. Uh, it's using the SPP or serial port profile of the Bluetooth module, and it's sending data at 115 kilobits. Uh, on the right half of the screen here, any place I click on the screen, it captures the RGB value of that pixel and sends it to the light. So as I click, you can see the light color updating. Uh, also, if I click and drag, it will constantly uh, stream packets to the light of RGB data from the pixel that I'm clicking and dragging on. Uh, over here, we can do the same thing as we go around the perimeter of the CIE pattern. You can see the light updating. The left half of the screen is uh, servo position, and this the vertical axis corresponds to tilt, and the horizontal corresponds to pan, and that's the two servos. And so as I click on different points of the screen here, it'll move the light to different positions. And similarly here, if I click and drag, it will constantly stream packets of data over Bluetooth to the module and update the servo positions, allowing me to have constant smooth control of the position of the light. So we've just briefly scratched the surface today on the capabilities of this module using the serial port profile with the light. Uh, we invite you to check out the other capabilities within the documentation at digikey.com and pick yours up today. Uh, we also invite you to check out the module pre-soldered on to a breakout board uh, for those of you who don't want to bring in your electric griddle to work. Uh, thanks again for joining us for another Geek Moment video. But dang it, basking in the smell of fresh pancakes, buttery pancakes, was a price I was willing to pay to get this baby soldered on.